How's everybody today? Grace is sitting up on her top step. Let's not forget, they will never sit any lower than the top step. Come here, Grace. Hey, baby. Come here, up on the rock. Say hi to YouTube. Say hi. Say hi. Good girl. We thought we'd talk to you today about an important subject. Spay or neuter my Doberman. Now, for those that don't have Dobermans, everything I'm about to say pretty much applies to that too. But we got Dobermans here, so we're gonna talk about Dobermans. Grace is 25 inches at the withers and 70 pounds. And when I got her at four months, she was the runt and she only weighed 22 pounds and all her brothers and sisters in Doberman world were all 40 to 50 pounds at four months old. So I did a little research on this spay neuter thing on what effects that has on your Doberman. And the biggest thing that I found was that when you alter the dog, you turn off the hormones, which affect all the growth plates. So after watching a lot of videos um, on YouTube, particularly uh, Dr. Karen Becker, I'd, I'd recommend you looking at uh, spay neuter Dr. Becker and after reading a ton on the internet I made a decision that Grace would remain intact and 30 months later I got a pretty good looking girl here so If you're getting a Doberman puppy pretty soon and you're watching this video to see a little stuff about what a Doberman's like and whatnot, you know, there's a lot of things that we, we as Doberman owners recommend you to, to do, you know, as far as learning to breed and seeing if you're a right fit. But if you decide that the dog is the right fit, come on, let's go sit down. Come on over here. Come on, come on, come on. If you decide that the Doberman is your dog. Uh, the next thing you gotta decide is whether you wanna leave the dog intact. Of course, you have to be responsible. Grace is in heat right now. So I'm never gonna leave her outside alone. And of course, I have to. I have some different procedures with inside the house to to uh, make sure she doesn't have any spotting issues. Uh, so, I'm responsible that way. And of course, if you have a boy, you got to make sure that he's not running loose and impregnating all the females in the neighborhood. But with a girl, you really have to be with them for those uh, two or three weeks. You can't let them outside by themselves because some little critter will come in and all of a sudden you'll have puppies and they won't even look like Dobermans and you'll be depressed. What's that on your nose? You got a spot there. Um, here's something that I do with Grace that if you have a female that's kind of cool, you can take a shower curtain, fold it in half and wrap it around your crate, three walls of the crate. So when they do the Doberman shake when they're laying down and everything, she, they don't spot the walls all around. I just take a, a few zip ties and um, poke a few holes in the, uh, the shower curtain. 
and I zip tie it to her crate for three weeks and it keeps all that nonsense inside the crate and then um, you know the shower curtains disposable afterwards um, the first first season when it went through I didn't realize what was happening and, well there was a lot of cleanup afterwards but now it's uh, it's really unnecessary and then the other thing that I did you come up here and see our face is um, I got a um, throw cover for her couch that um, she's only allowed on the couch um, and I put the throw cover on it and that uh, that keeps the couch from getting stinky and uh, we use that for three or four weeks while we're we're going through our season here but I think that um, if I was given advice it would be free advice no doubt and uh, it's always unsolicited but it wouldn't be to spay or neuter and it wouldn't be to leave them intact it would be for you to seriously consider your dog's needs and recognize how important hormones are and at that point you can make an informed decision on whether your girl or boy needs to be left alone or not I will say this if you decide that your dog is somebody that needs to be altered I wouldn't do my boy until he was at least 18 to 24 months and I wouldn't do my girl until she was 24 to 36 months because that way they go through the entire growth cycle of a Doberman they are what they are when they're two or three years old and you didn't you didn't shut off growth plates and they had all the necessary things that they needed to be able to grow so we'll um we'll call it a day here. Grace is looking to play here. Say goodbye, Grace. YouTube saying goodbye. We'll talk to you next time.